Welcome everybody back for some more Hydroneer on the channel. We have a little bit of an issue. Um, my machine's gone missing, but don't you guys panic. There is a reason why this has gone missing. And the reason is I have built this. Off camera, I've gone ahead and made a bunch of money and put my mine down here. Hopefully in the ability to go ahead and get some Cloutium. I've gone ahead and let this run for quite a long time to the point where I've gotten myself this big block here and a bunch of this little stuff here. Um, to be honest with you, we are just going to plonk that in there and sell it, but I do have a block that is, of course, 900 and something. So we can of course then also go ahead and go over to the um, thing I'll, I'll, I'll understand the name of it at some point the volcano forge area as well and then go ahead and forge ourselves some more items this will keep running for a while um, and hopefully get us a lot of money, plonk that in there, get ourselves a the rest of our actual money and go ahead and try and get out of here. I really thought that was going to refill my uh, water tank but we do have a bit of water in the truck just in case we do run out so I'm gonna go up here with the truck and just see how much money all this is worth now obviously oh that's a good bit of cash obviously the crystals you cannot sell so I wasn't actually thinking that that would sell. thought they were going to stack, but they didn't. So we do have a bunch of crystals left, but that is okay. Well, what they're actually called is energy shards, I'm pretty sure. So now we're going to head up to the volcano hill up there and see if we can go ahead and get ourselves a couple more miners. Make sure we have about four and then we can come back and add them to the base and get some good progress going. We'll also get some more conveyor belts and stuff like that as well. Thinking about this, we should probably get ourselves that... Um... Oh, I'll just buy another one. I was going to get ourselves another that pallet, but I'll just leave it. So I'll see you guys at the top of the volcano. And here we are. We've made it down to the forging area. I've just put everything in this bucket, to be completely honest with you. And I left the other bucket here. So I'll take out my money, get my big iron bar, plonk him in there. And hopefully, if this is in the correct place, we should get a new drill. So there is a one. And I think you have to get the change every single time. And I believe I can make about three of these. Let's go ahead and get another one. Make sure that's out of the way. And there we have four in total. We can again plunk them, all four of them, up onto here which will send them back up to the truck which I parked just in front of the area there and then we can go ahead and get the coins and head to the shop and get ourselves some stuff from there so from this shop we're going to jump our way down here put our money in there I'm going to get ourselves a pallet because I completely forgot about the other pallet we're going to buy ourselves like I don't know which way around this one goes ok 
Okay, that's going to send the items off that way. We want these ones. Do we want, like, four of these, maybe? One. That's the wrong one. Three of those, and well, when I'm stood on it like that, the exit is on the left. When I'm stood on it, well, there's the exit's on the left. Yeah, and Kutter's on the left. So I want like, I want us to get three of them, but I think we need four. this up and put it on here where I think we only just about have enough. Yeah, pressing the unstuck button doesn't always unstuck you when you really want it to go. So we grab you as well and oh. We have plenty, we've got a thousand left. So let's go ahead and take. Put all these and all. Like so, and put these on top. should, in theory, be able to carry it all. So that will give us so that's one, two, three, four, So that's all that, and then we head back up to the top to get to the truck, and go back to our base. And as we precariously drive back with the uh, totally secure cargo in the back, and uh, we go the scenic route down the side of the mountain. How that is still staying in there, I do not know, but, you know, it's what it is, I suppose. So we head back to our little first little camp over here. Um, I wouldn't too, I'm not too worried about buying a lot of stuff and constructing a lot of stuff because 
in reality we can just like fill up this truck take everything that we've bought and take it back to a different base so this has all been running and operating while we have been gone which is exactly what I wanted it to do and we've now become part of said mess so we can go ahead and take the pallet down and that will leave us with the mines so for the mines I'm gonna need um, a couple of the T pipes so one I think that's gonna go back on the, the, uh, the pipeline and stuff and start coming back up So when we do this, we can go ahead and take the cork out and put them down here in this corner. Let's quickly go ahead and return it back all back on. So we can go ahead and grab this and place it in like so are going to need to get the mine. Go ahead and rotate this. It was good when it was like that. And then turn this one on, which then means we have double the drills down here. Now, I have made a slight error here in the sense that I have bought I've constructed free and I don't actually have enough room at the minute so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and dig out this area here so that we can have four drills down here so a little while later and we should be able to go ahead and plug the other two drills in and go ahead and turn them on which is now four drills going here and pumping up all of this dirt down the bottom here now hopefully fingers crossed we do actually have tier two dirt here or we have just wasted all of our time but if i go ahead and unplug this like this and plug it back in they all go at the same time means we get four bits of dirt that will come up here and get turned into stuff. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and take this supposed to do. So all my material is still going to be getting made because I've done it on two separate systems and then we can go ahead and Plug all this back in in a minute. So now we need to go ahead and grab our precarious looking pallet here and uh, go ahead and bring it over here where we need to lay some more straight pipes. straight pipes. I think I might also have to 
bring this up more. I'm not 100% sure just yet. So this will allow us to quite nicely go ahead and just separate all of the So yeah, I'm going to have to get my pickaxe again, which I believe is down here somewhere. I have no idea where I've put my pickaxe. If I have to go buy one again, I'm not going to be very happy. So go ahead and because this is now irrelevant. That's my fourth one. So let me go ahead and place these in like So, go ahead and place all four of these in. I dropped it down here, didn't I? Yep. So, there is, of course, three. And I swear I bought a new one. Yeah, there he is. And four. So, then we can go ahead and sift through the pile, getting ourselves a bunch of these and a shard and then we can turn this back on which means that we now have the sorting system all sorted Cloutium, which is good that that is actually need a bucket again for all the gems because I haven't quite yet got the gem cutter and stuff set up and then we can go ahead and put the bung in so this is now our really nice and sorted system where we've got the gold, the cloutium and all of the stones coming in here at the end. Obviously you can then upgrade that we can upgrade this system in the future and then we can go ahead and get ourselves the um, extra stuff. So this is this part of the system all set up and working. We can now obviously go ahead and get all of our respectable bars and we can means we can get it a little bit more automated and everything like that like this cloudium bar is like tiny and i think you need like 50 weight 
to go and do anything with it, unfortunately. Let's quickly take all of... You know, I'd be too careful with this stuff because it's quite rare. I'm not really sure why it works that way around. That then means that all these are now making all of the relevant resources. It's all being sorted. And if we head down here, we have four drills on the go. I'm quickly going to just unplug it and plug it back in again. Just because I want them to all fire at the same time. Which, they now are. Which now means we can go ahead and get some... Cloutium on the go obviously is going to take a very long time to I think it's 50 that we need to go ahead and get ourselves the required amount for the next thing the next set of drills so we can now go ahead and start saving up for that also turned up my gamma so you guys could actually see what was uh, relatively going on down here so everything comes up here and goes ahead and gets centered into the drill as it sort of comes up and goes sort of to the side. You don't want it getting clogged up. And then it goes here and goes in its respective little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and sit for about 10 minutes and obviously see how much stuff that this actually produces. And uh, I'll be back when that is done. And 10 minutes later, let's quickly turn it off. That was a bad idea. Huh? And ten minutes later, we shall go ahead and press all these down and get my scales might as well bring them a little bit closer for this little bit of time and let's go ahead and weigh all of these bars so 10 minutes remember this is we have a bar worth 18,000 coins weighing a lot um let's put him in there we then have another bar weighing 20 whoa yeah that's a lot of gold so that is also a lot of gold. We'll uh, go ahead and plonk that in there. Worth about 28,000. Obviously this will not be worth any money because you cannot sell these. But I can go ahead and put it in here. I've done it with this one as well. I noticed that if, if you do it like that, it's a lot. easier to put in place uh -huh. 
So we go ahead and put these both back in here. And that is a quite a nice healthy bar, which means these will go a lot faster and increase a lot of money. So that one also you can't sell. And then with the Cloutium, it's Cloutium, this is worth 6,000 with a weight of 34. So the Cloutium, I'm not going to go and sell. I'm going to put him back in there actually and turn this back on so that we don't lose anything. And the, I think the most, the most satisfying, honestly, the most satisfying bit is when you get a big clump and you just watch it all go into the machine like this. It's pretty satisfying watching it do that and a couple more Clantium in there as well. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and take my huge bucket of money, get back on the scales. And this is worth 42,280 Hydroneer coins, which we are then going to take in the next episode and upgrade every single last one of my pipe works, including this one here and all the way up here. I'm going to upgrade it to this really nice orange one. Uh, yeah, actually starting with the thing that powers it itself. Which I have no idea why I haven't changed. Actually, I remember why I haven't changed this one. It's because my initial plan was actually to go ahead and... My initial plan was to actually upgrade it, keep this these hand sorters here, and then get a different pipeline to go ahead and bring that all in. But I decided against it in the end because... I, actually, I haven't even added this into this because I'm pretty sure you can sell these as well. I say 2,000, but not bad little haul for not really a lot of time either. No. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead, take this up to the top up here. Go ahead and give that a little bit of a sell. Make sure I put my bucket back down here. And go ahead, go up to the top and get some more money. Remember, I've still got like 6,000 at the other shop. Let's go ahead up here and sell this. And there we have it, guys. With the a machine up and running to the best of its ability. Um, lots of stuff upgraded and a lot of money in the bank. Go ahead and put this on. Hey, we can go ahead and do that. Get rid of all of the stuff that we do not need for this current moment in time. And I will have to see you guys in the next video. Hey, look, I found my level 2 pickaxe. So, got ourselves a nice healthy amount of money, which is 44,884. Remember, this is 10 minutes of time just sat waiting around for this machine. So, it's going to make a lot more. Obviously, we're not going to do anything with this Clausian bar because we're going to wait for it to get to about maybe 200. And then we can go ahead and take... Well, I'm not even going to touch this bar, to be honest with you. I'm going to sell this one. To sell that one anyway. Get this one. Make sure we got enough of that. And go ahead and make ourselves some tier 2 mines. And we can go ahead and buy a, another plot. But for now, that's where I'm going to leave today's episode here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.